I'm Chris. I'm Melissa. And we welcome you to the Choose Your Library Adventure program. And tonight's the adult's turn to have fun. And now I'm going to hand things over to Melissa. And I'll turn my camera and microphone off now. Sure. Thanks so much, Chris. And yes, guys, so make sure that you um, check out our page for back to school if you have kids or not. You know, there's no age to stop learning. So let's celebrate uh, back to learning. And just to let you guys know, uh, there is a chance along the way that you guys might tie in terms of what you guys want to do. In that case, I will be using this coin and flipping it to make the decision if you guys are split 50-50. So let me turn off my camera as well, and we can get started with our program. Okay. Welcome. You've entered a book filled with wonders and dangers. If you guys have read Choose Your Own Adventure books, they usually come with a warning. Library resources are not meant to be explored straight through from beginning to end. These pages contain many different adventures. These slides contain many different adventures as you journey through the library. From time to time, as you follow along, you will be asked to make a choice. You guys will be asked to make a handful of choices. And your choices may lead to success or disaster. Uh, no real disaster, but they will lead to different resources. And the adventures or the resources that we look at are a result of your choice. And you are responsible because you choose. And after you make your choice, your guide, and that will be me, will show you on the screen what happens next. Danger and wonder will be accompanied by discovery. I am sure you guys will come away with one, two, three, four different tips and different places that you can go to from our library website. And remember, you cannot go back. Think carefully before you make a move. One mistake can be your last, or it may lead you to fame and fortune. So the choosing is going to start uh, right from the beginning. Wouldn't be a library virtual program without a book shout out. So, would you guys like to learn about a choose your own of a 20 somethings perplexing life choices? Or a choose your own adventure about the actor from Doogie Howser and How I Met Your Own Mother, Neil Patrick Harris? So, I'm gonna launch a poll for you guys. And you guys tell me and vote. What do you feel like doing? 40% of you have voted, okay, okay. Let's get a little bit more, 60% have voted. Oh, I see there is a winner, and okay. This is a little bit unexpected. Okay, I'm gonna give it like 10 more seconds to let you guys vote. All right, so. You guys are uh, into Hollywood, I guess, and you wanna read maybe about Neil Patrick Harris. Well, I think that's a wonderful thing too. So let's see, choice B. It leads us to Neil Patrick Harris's book, Choose Your Own Autobiography. And you can get it as curbside pickup, as a CD audiobook, and a downloadable audiobook through Libby and Overdrive. And actually, you can also get it on Hoopla, you guys. That's how I read it. And the format works really, really great. Um, you can actually start the adventure when he has kids and skip everything up to the point where he has kids. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff on there. So definitely check it out if you really like Choose Your Own and you enjoyed this program and you want more of like choosing your own adventures. Uh, we have a lot in the library, but I just thought I would highlight this little one for us. So let's go ahead and get started with the journey. Okay, pardon the sound effects. Vroom, vroom, sweet ride. You are riding in a car that will travel through both time and space. Even though you knew that the library does check out ukuleles, Wi-Fi hotspots, and even seeds if you visit the Temple Terrace Library, you did not know the library checked out car time machines, but here you are now. You're gonna go on a road trip through time and space. What do you do? Choice A, take some time to download some really great media so that you don't have to stream it through wherever you go, something to accompany your road trip. That's choice A. Choice B, uh, start to first go by watching some movies that put you in the mood or maybe learn a little bit more about some of the areas that you wanna travel to. So these are the two choices that you guys have. I honestly can't wait to see what you guys pick when you're getting ready for your road trip. So what'll it be, you guys? Wanna learn about downloading some great media that you don't need to use streaming for? 
Or do you guys want some movies? Let's see what you like. Okay, I see a clear lead. 67% of you guys have voted so far. Oh, that lead is getting even higher. I'm just gonna give it like five more seconds. Let's see what you guys say. Very nice. 83% of you guys have voted. I really like that. Um, yeah. So as you guys can see, you want to download some great media to take along the way. Maybe you guys are planning to go back into prehistoric times. I don't know. So let's take a look and see where that takes us. Downloading some great media to take along the way. Here we go. We're going to go to Hoopla and check out some things. What the Hoopla? Sorry, pardon the fun. So Hoopla, you can get as an app on your Android or Apple device. You can also go on the website. Of course, I'm going to show you guys on the website right here. So if you go to hcplc.org, I like to go to hooplaDigital.com myself just right off the bat. But if you guys have never been there to Hoopla, you're going to go to Learning and Research, Resources A through Z, H, and you guys can find Hoopla right here. It is a very great resource. If you have not looked at it yet, here we go. So one thing to know is they have audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, and television. And your um, books will be available for you guys for 20 days. There are no holds on any of these things, you guys. So you can just check out whatever uh, it is. Music, if you download music, it'll be available for seven days. Movies for three days. Audiobooks for 21 days. And they have so many audiobooks. That's one of the really, really great features about Hoopla. And you know, you can download that onto your tablet device so that you can have it without having to stream, which is a really great thing. So just to show you guys a little bit about Hoopla, I'm gonna log into our library programming account. So one thing that you can do, I'll just show you a little bit. You can see what you currently have borrowed. It tells you how many more you can have during the month. You guys can see I can borrow 16 more titles in the month. A few of these are from previous times, so you might have more than 20 checked out at any given time. You can also put favorites in when you're browsing in case you'd already used up all of your credits. And it'll divide it up for you guys in terms of audiobooks, comics, ebooks, movies, and music. So you guys can see, I really wanna to listen to the 2020 Grammy nominees and I wanna to listen to the Taylor Swift um, album and maybe Billie Eilish's brother. So I put those here. Um, you know, if you don't wanna listen with ads and you don't have a paid subscription to something or you wanna get rid of your paid subscription, Hoopla is really a very good thing to do. If you like Pippi Longstocking the book, you can read about the person who was the writer for Pippi Longstocking. There's many more movies to watch. There are great selections of comics and ebooks as well. I'll just show you guys a little bit of that. Whenever you click through, there will be recommended, featured, popular. You can also go by publishers and by recent as well to see what they've added recently. And just to let you guys know that there are quite a few things available in different languages. So for the movies and TV series, if you guys are watching something in another language, it will have English subtitles automatically embedded. Um, but you will always find that there are quite a few French and Spanish books and movies and things like that available for you guys all. And the great thing to know is that you can just download them so you can go on your road trip, okay? So that's what you guys are gonna do. You're gonna download all sorts of things, maybe the 2020 Grammy nominees, I don't know. And you're going to listen to things without using up any of your precious data and go through time. This is Hoopla, so feel free to ask any questions. Of course, we'll get to them at the end or perhaps we'll get, we'll get to them while we are time and space traveling. So that is Hoopla. If you haven't checked it out, I hope you check it out. If you already know and love Hoopla, I hope I inspired you to check out some of the categories you don't typically use. I know I tend to neglect music myself, but it is lovely. So let's continue on the journey. You go to a few places here, a few places there, uh, but surprisingly, you are sticking around to the 1960s um, simply because it's a time period that seems pretty historic, but still recognizable and you really understand everything about it. Um, okay, so you were around in the 1960s. And then after that, you decide to just come back into the present day time for a little bit and make sure that your time strand still exists and you didn't disrupt the time space continuum. 
happily, things seem to be in order. And you really haven't been talking to anyone or modifying history. But uh, now your car is making, you know, kind of a, a sound. You've noticed this time machine is making a sound. How do you guys proceed now with the sound? Uh, choice A, ignore and proceed, instant transport abroad. Or choice B, uh, let's check up on the sound, even though it's a time machine, you know, maybe it's, maybe there's something that we can do about this car, figure out how to repair it. So guys, time for a poll. There's a sound. What are you guys going to do? Are you going to ignore it and go? Or are you going to check it out first? I don't know. There's all adults here. So I think I have an idea of where this is going to go. So far, so good. So far, so oh, you guys, 100% of you have voted on this poll. And I have to share, this is the first time. All right, check it out first. That's what we're going to do. We are going to check out that weird sound and figure out what is happening. Okay. So let me hide these results. Let me go back to my screen. And you guys are very responsible. I applaud you. <laughs> Choice B, we are going to go to auto source. You are going to fix up this car before going on because although it is a time machine, you do recognize the make and the model of this car. So let's go together, shall we? All right, so we will start at the place where we always start, acplc.org to get to where we can learn about all sorts of auto repairs, all sorts of diagrams for all sorts of cars. I know that when I talk to people who like cars or who do some repairs themselves and are hands on, they love this resource. Their eyes light up and they think it is just the best. And that is what you in the time machine are going to do. So as you guys can see here, you could click on auto repair. You could click on A. But let's click on auto repair and we can find auto repair source. It is accurate, authoritative, and up-to-date service and repair information for thousands of domestic and important vehicles. Important vehicles, pardon my English. So I'm going to enter my library barcode number right here. My pin. And then I have access to literally, you guys, so many different ways to um, look up your cars. I would love to show you some of the Lamborghini stuff because it does have really any car you could ask for, but your time machine is actually a Fiat 500 lounge. Maybe I'll show you guys the Lamborghini um, information on here later, but feel free to poke around and find your own car on here later on. So you guys, uh, we have selected our vehicle, year, make, model, we had our engine. You can actually search for whatever is the issue here, and you can find all sorts of information about your car here. Like for example, um, if the tire inflation pressure has kind of like worn off on the side of your car, you could just find that really quickly. Labor, parts, procedures. So you can do a search by that. Or if you have a specific area that you're looking for, airbags. I know air conditioning and heater is a big one. I'll click on one of these soon, but just to give you guys an idea, drive line, electrical, engine management, exhaust, fluids. I know that's another big one, parts and labor, wheel alignment, wiring diagrams. Um, okay, so let's take a look at battery replacement. So we have battery replacement procedures. A lot of the times these come, you guys, with really great comprehensive figures that you can look at so that you can learn exactly what you're going to do. And you know how sometimes when you're outside, you can't really see your screen and it's reflective. You'll be able to print out the diagrams and all of that, and it's very printer friendly. So just to give you guys an idea, you can see all of the different figures. and things to do to maintain your vehicle and kind of troubleshoot the issues that you have. You could save yourself a lot of money and you could learn a whole lot as well. The important thing to know, of course, oh, and of course you guys remember, feel free to put in the questions as we go because we are traveling through time and space in a crazy time machine. You may have some questions along the way. So feel free to put those in and we'll get to them later. Okay, so uh, good news. Your car was just making sounds in another language because it really wanted to take your abroad. So lucky you, you get to go abroad and have a few adventures there. You're a little bit exhausted, 
but you know, you have been traveling around, you travel through different times, different places and destinations, and the world is truly your oyster. And now it's time to choose another destination. So what do you guys think? Would you like to go to your home address in the 1920s? Choice A. Or would you guys uh, like to get a friend first to come along on this ride with you? So you guys will choose. I imagine this one will be a little bit more divided than the other ones, but that's just my instinct. What would you guys like to do? Your home address or get a friend along to join in the fun. Yeah, we are a little bit more divided on this one so far. 50% have voted. All right, let's get a few more votes in there. Huh, okay, maybe three more seconds. Okay, our voting record, by the way, is outstanding, you guys. Uh, record voting in this session. We truly are a model of democracy. 75% of you guys uh, do not care to bring a friend along with you. You guys wanna go to your home address in the 1920s. All right, let's do this. And let's see what happens. Choice A, your home address. Oh, okay, you guys, um, a little bit of a problem here that happened. You didn't actually check out the maps to know that there was actually a road in your address back then in the 1920s. Um, and your car got stuck in some pretty serious, just like back then brush it broke down um and now you're kind of at a dead end but just so you guys know normally we would end the session here at a dead end but i feel like continuing on so i'm gonna just show you a little bit of something okay so first of all you're never truly at a dead end in the library i do just want to say at the very bottom of any library web page page you guys will see our contact information call text ask online you can always ask a librarian there are some wonderful people in our system who answer this it is humans it is not robots you can text you can chat you can email i myself <laughs> chatted i myself though i work for the library chatted with the library hmm, to ask them what was the most popular way that people would get in touch with them and they said that chat was the most popular way and they do get back to you really quickly it's wonderful you can ask them questions about all sorts of things like I talked to someone recently who answered a question about um, ancient Greek religions and where to research those and and they were able to help out the customer. So just so you guys know, there's never really a dead end of the library, okay? Just in our session, there's a little bit of a dead end. But if you guys were wondering where I got that map of Tampa, you guys can actually find some really good maps. digital Sanborn maps, historic large-scale fire insurance maps of Florida towns and cities from 1867 through the mid 20th century. These are uh, fantastic. I unfortunately don't really have time to show them to you guys, but you were able to see a little bit of uh, this image right here, right? You have Suwannee Heights and Seminole Heights and some things like that. You can find so many maps. Uh, I challenge you guys to find your home address in digital Sanborn maps. Maybe you wouldn't be reaching a dead end. Um, so you guys did reach a dead end, but I'm going to uh, just forward to the next slide and continue you on. Uh, let's assume that you guys chose the other option, by the way, which would have given you some magical green slime. That's okay. Uh, you just finished an adventure through murderous green slime and the librarian cleared up some of the rules about this car time machine for you. And now you're a little bit annoyed and a little bit tired when rules are explained to you guys. Hopefully you guys in real life are not feeling annoyed and tired. My apologies if you are. You feel like you could handle now one more magical stop, but there is a catch. You can only handle either time travel or travel to a destination, one or the other. Which one are you guys going to pick? All right, so now I'm gonna launch another poll and you guys get to choose time travel or destination. Sometimes life is just a lot and you have to pick one or the other. Okay, we are very divided right here. 
Oh, I need a tiebreaker. All right, I'm gonna wait like three more seconds and hopefully someone will break this tie. Okay, you guys tied. Oh, you guys tied time travel and destination. All right, so. Has, okay. I have chosen for you guys. We are going to do choice B. I'm gonna be nice. Uh, we are going to give the car a rest. There are risks involved and maybe you just wanna have some interactions right now with people from your current time period um, and learn a little bit more about maybe some cultures and things like that before you proceed. So what you guys are gonna do along with me for a few minutes is keep on going to Universal Sauce. This will be the last resource I share with you guys today. So Universal Sauce is pretty awesome. I think I'm in a class on cryptozoology myself. So again, how do we get there? You guys can click on learning and research and go to all the resources from A to Z. Click on you. Universal class. These are self-paced online courses for continuing education. You guys could get continuing education credits. They provide lessons, assignments, discussion boards, so you can actually have interaction with your classmates. You guys can get grades and feedback. And there are so many different topics. All right. Okay, so I'm taking haunted places apparently. And you guys can see some course recommendations here for me. On the side, there is an inbox contact invite. So if you do make some friends, you can have some contact invites. Classes, achievements. So after you complete a class, you will get actually your little certificate, your profile, you can make a profile. And let's take a look at the course catalog. This is pretty great. So everything from accounting to homeschooling, psychology, special education, test prep, writing skills, language arts, which is kind of cool. Um, you guys can do writing 101, ESL, Chinese cultural studies, if you guys want to time travel to China after our um, trip is done here. Journalism, and of course you can always do a search. I like the parenting classes as well that they have, and there are teacher resources. So if anyone is homeschooling their kids right now, that's definitely something to take a look at. Um, I really like some of the fun ones in craft and hobbies as well. Cake decorating, candle making, babysitting, bread baking. I know a lot of people are into that right now. Couponing, etiquette, face painting. So all sorts of great things that you guys can do. Uh, you gave your car a little bit of a rest. And after you looked at Chinese Culture 101, maybe you traveled to China. But truly, at the very end of the day, I have to say, even though you guys did reach one dead end, I think you do get the award for uh, probably the best behaved, the most voting, and the most engaged audience that I have had in quite some time. So congratulations, you guys, very much. I'm going to turn my camera on again, and let's see if you guys have any questions for us. All right, I'm turning my camera on, too. That was great. Yeah, we do have some questions rolling in here. Um, one person would like to know, they say, this is great, by the way but they want to know if there are any resources to learn phonetics. Resources to learn phonetics. In some of the universal classes, you may find phonetics. What I will say is we didn't take a trip to Mango Languages, but Mango Languages will um, kind of guide you through some of the phonetics in their ESL classes. And of course, it depends on the main language, how much they emphasize it versus they don't. Um, so I would encourage you to go ahead and take a look at that and see if that would be of interest to you. And that, we do and have some phonetics, by the way. That's true. And they can locate that using the same uh, A to Z search that you were showing them earlier. They can locate Manga there. All right. Cool. Uh, someone wanted to know about Hoopla and downloading uh, books. Can uh, I think the answer is yes to this. Can In the app, can they download those to be accessed offline? I've done it before. I, I believe you can. Okay. Yes, yes you can. can. Cool. Uh, we do have a question. Someone is asking about our books by mail service, which we weren't discussing tonight, but they were wondering if they could reserve uh, the launch pads uh, for children. 
and I actually took a look while you were talking. And no, it's only books, audiobooks, uh, DVDs, and uh, music CDs. You can't check out electronic devices. No time machines either, you guys. No. <laughs> Sorry about that. Not yet. Um, yeah, that was that was a good one. Um, they have one other question about universal class. They're wondering um, about uh, certificates. Can they get uh, certificates or credits with those courses? You guys can get after you complete it and after you get your grades and feedbacks. If there is um, a continuing education credits option in universal class, you will mm -hmm. receive something in your inbox um, in universal class. So but you have to go to your inbox in universal class, I'm pretty sure. I see one right. question here. I think we already answered it, but I just wanted to make sure. Um, this person says, I don't have a Kindle, but I have a laptop and a smartphone. What options are compatible with your devices? You can definitely use Hoopla on these things. Um, I don't have, I have a Kindle Paperwhite, so I can't download things onto Hoopla from it. And I'm always using my laptop and I'm using my smartphone to access my eBooks on Hoopla. And it works really great. And you know, some laptops even have it so that you can, um, you can hold your laptop like a book and change the orientation of your screen. Maybe oh, yeah. you want to look at that if you want to get really, really technical, but you can be really creative. Um, yeah, I wish I had a Kindle Fire for um, Hoopla, but I don't. I hope that helps. Yeah. Don't see any other questions. Um, oh, wait. Let's see. Someone is asking about, hold on, let me read this. I'm sorry. Oh, they need a hotspot for their trip. How quickly can I borrow one? <clears throat> um, I believe you'll have to search that on in our catalog. If you just search the keyword hotspot, it'll let you know of the availability of those. Yeah. Um, I know sometimes there's a wait for those types of devices, but if you go in our catalog, in our chat uh, section, I put the link uh, to our catalog in there, so you can use that and just search for hotspots there. Um, so yeah. Well, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it for questions. Uh, Any more? Okay. Well, I guess we'll bring up our last slide here. Oh yes. And we'll wrap okay. up. So if you need to contact us, any other questions? Yeah, let's let's check one last time. Sorry, I got ahead of ours. People are saying thank you. Great presentation. Thank you guys. Come back again. You know, we'll be doing other programs. Maybe you're already someone who's been going to a lot of programs. Tell your friends. Uh, we'll see uh, you again. Of course, Ask a Librarian is always there for you. Our library schedule is always there for you guys. So uh, we will see you again, okay? Yeah, have a great night, everyone. There's information on the slide here. You can call us at this number or go online to contact us. And of course, as Melissa just mentioned, our schedule of events is there as well. So please check it all out and we'll see you all very soon. Have a great night, everyone. Bye. Bye.